okay next tool yeah after uh, eraser tool let us check the gradient tool and paint bucket tool right first uh, check the gradient tool shortcut is g right so what we do with this uh, gradients creates a gradual blend between colors right so between the two colors it blends right so suppose this is my layer the new layer right i'll explain about the layers and all so first take any uh, new layer here from this dust bin there is a, a plus symbol click on that uh, you will receive one new layer right that is a new layer and then see uh, when you click on this the gradient tool and immediately check this optional bar so here the showing options some options about this right there are two type of uh, gradients are there the gradient uh, is a normal gradient uh, and this is the uh, classic gradient so what is the gradient here right suppose click on that and choose here the default options are there the basics blues yeah you can choose from this the presets like right so for the blues blues and for the purples purples and drag this bar below and you get all these things yeah for example suppose if i uh, draw here see this is your uh, taken gradient color right so again so here it is a bar like on stick like right so this is other side and this is this side so drag this and it is adding into then right? otherwise moving back okay otherwise move this stick to this side this side or or to this side okay and there is a white button move this closer to that pink so this purple color is adding more and that is less and do this in reverse so uh, pink color is adding more and this is less right and uh, there are options here see here linear gradient and radial gradient and this is angle gradient and the uh, reflected gradient and this is diamond gradient these are methods right but here in this if you observe here so there are many uh, presets are there suppose we use in now purples and the same way you can choose the pinks right so pinks are there right in pinks so many options are there and suppose the reds and greens oranges these are all and these are greens okay we choose this color the beautiful uh, color sometimes what artist designer no need to think about the combinations of uh, gradients so free defined presets are there given by this in a default photoshop so directly you can drag and drop here otherwise pastels here and neutrals here these are all the uh, colors okay these are the colors and this is the linear i told you this one linear and this is a radial so radial is what see there is like a okay, circle with the left mouse click and drag so this is creating okay and move this bit closer the oval shape or uh, circle and there is a small uh, circle like it is there you can move this side or that side okay and double click on that you can add that color to more deeper if you want otherwise you change that color to any other color okay save okay okay by double clicking that you are receiving color a picker then you can pick your color right and suppose here so move this into that and double click here you will receive the other side of the a uh, color gradient color suppose i'm adding this one adding this one say okay 
and you can increase and decrease and keep this here at there and this at there right so this is for radial and uh, uh, this is what the angle gradient so gradients are creating by angles so one angle any angle see turn that this side at that side it is adding okay this is increasing and uh, decreasing right and here the other one is a reflected gradient so it is reflecting okay. you can choose and you can understand and this is like a diamond to diamond gradient so look like a diamond shape and here also you can choose any color instead of this color or that color whatever the color it is right okay Yeah, I'm keeping this into linear only, so linear uh, uh, gradient. Okay, after that you can make it a reverse. If you want to make the colors this side, other colors or other colors this side, so you can use this uh, reverse. Okay, and this is uh, dither, so dither to reduce banding, right? So you can drag and move this to here and here. Okay. And the method here, suppose in default it is in perceptual, right? So keep this in a linear. Suppose you can be it inside uh, you get and you will understand this. A linear and this is a classic, see, in a classic method. Okay. The methods so these are all and the smooth, so smooth like a, a blending, right? Or otherwise stripes. Stripes means what? two uh, dark colors without uh, blending without uh, smoothing the both colors it is showing in stripes right suppose make this into classical then we'll understand the beautiful uh, blending between these two colors right so this is and one more method here suppose i'll uh, delete this one and then creating new layer and click on the uh, gradient tool click here and now observe the options bar we used already gradient and the second is classic gradient right the difference between classic gradient and this one here in classic gradient the more options are there <coughs> and you can click on that even <coughs> yeah Okay, and the same way here, uh, the presets are there. You can choose the presets. Sometimes these are very useful without wasting of time to uh, check the combination of colors. Uh, very easily, we create combinations, right? Reds, greens, and oranges. Beautiful combinations are there. And suppose a cloud look like a cloud if you want to add you can add the cloud and uh, iridescent iridescent is a kind of combination this is okay and this is pastel like pastel so like look like pastel colors you can choose and neutrals neutral colors these are the neutral colors you can choose any uh, gradient color from this presets okay so for example i'm taking this one okay and then suppose if you don't want uh, from the presets you can change your own color see from left or right side there are boxes are there click in the box you'll see here as a color in the same color you click on that instead of that color choose any color say for example red color okay say okay the other side click here and click on the color button and add your color related color which color you want and see these are these are a small uh, uh, button the color 
mid point this is called this mid point you can move closer to red and the blue is adding more red is less okay and uh, here red we are adding more and blue is less right or otherwise keep this between bottom right and the hand symbol is showing here the hand symbol and suppose here um, which color you want by uh, choosing the eye dropper tool so that color you will add here suppose this color right or this color by choosing that color in this bucket you are adding but I don't want that color I want to change color to this color and say okay now move this to this side at this side and add one more box simply by clicking left and take this and select this and choose another one so the options are there many options are there okay by choosing this you'll understand and here uh, a name if you want to give name any name type of solid or noise the noise color right the roughness 50 percent or more okay so say it 50 percent same like in default okay and here color mode of course rgb any and uh, a noise solid or solid or noise right so solid only and smoothness suppose the smoothness 100 percent or less smoothness means what if you do not add a smoothness the roughness will add in the particular area ok and now what I will do if you want to delete this extra one this is just click on that and choose this uh, delete button delete that one right and choose this here and again I created one more and here one more so by clicking you will get receive the uh, buckets see these are all uh, many buckets we are creating so this I do not want suppose click here and uh, delete and click here and delete or otherwise how to delete simply by pressing that one move forward move up move up ok so move up and again I am adding one more here and suppose here some uh, opacity is hidden right it is not inactive this location and all by pressing the top this is your uh, color bar instead of the bottom click here on the top now it is showing the opacity in default it is showing 51 can make it darker or less ok so that means what the color opacity will be le less right lesser and we get more ok and the location location means what by uh, moving that box if you observe the location number is changing ok or otherwise by pressing by pressing by adding the number it is automatically changing to that right so this is if you do not want that location and you can uh, delete right ok after adding that what we do say ok otherwise you can cancel import or export or a new if you take this as a new it is added here right so but here I do not want that ok so I do not want that so you can just drag this uh, down ok so just by pressing the uh, delete button just delete button so you can delete gradient uh, yes this gradient ok now save ok ok now if you observe there is a plus mark the chosen color added to your plus mark to cursor left mouse and from there to here drag this one right so here we are adding gradient but if you observe here it is giving not exactly that colors it is shade it is showing like look like shade because the layer mode I mean the color mode is in multiply choose this in a normal then you drag this now see observe the same color here you are applying 
if you apply the color bit closer to here the colors are very vibrant too, but if you apply the same thing by showing some distance so the blendness blendness and the a darkness is a bit lighter lighter means that color saturations are uh, lighter right so from there to here you drag and you will understand that okay then by choosing this a light in this modes the different uh, mm, effects you observe right with bit light this is naturally you keep this in a normal then it behaves very normal right and the opacity of that color simply by dragging that the level of the opacity is decreasing and uh, increasing right that's it and colors are uh, reverse uh, reverse and the teacher it is a transparency by pressing this you will receive the transparency of this right okay then method classic it is showing and suppose linear linear and a smooth right so stripes stripes and suppose keep this in a uh, linear linear right so these are all uh, options uh, <coughs> from optional bar optional or bar right okay then uh, paint bucket tool is there so with paint bucket tool what we do fill areas of similar color with the foreground color for the foreground color similar color we click right so for that <coughs> suppose i'm creating one more layer here and delete this one suppose here we choose the blue already in foreground color by clicking this see here it is showing uh, the pattern because in optional bar uh, instead of the color foreground color it is showing in pattern so that's why patterns are displaying now turn this into foreground so now click here now see this is and uh, the tolerance value the tolerance value suppose it is in uh, suppose 50 percent say it is in 50 percent and choose the um, a tool a reset suppose this is a paint bucket so click here the star uh, uh, icon and reset all tools suppose if you want otherwise the particular tool reset tool right after resetting tool so i delete this layer and i'll choose one more layer okay and take the bucket and now this is the dark blue color the foreground color i'm applying right so this is another way now you can change this to any other color any other color and click here right accordingly it is also changing and there are two methods are there uh, foreground color and uh, pattern color if you have any problem uh, with the particular tool immediately choose an any tool suppose it is paint bucket tool or otherwise brush tool or whatever it is tool uh, and the particular tool reset is there by clicking the reset button the tool reset automatically right okay and here also the modes are there because the color is behaving normally because it is in normal right suppose this is the color and uh, over on that i'm creating one more layer here okay here this is a green and top this is the empty layer in empty layer i'm trying to fill uh, other color other color means suppose this blue okay that too the mode is in multiply and drag this one see it is applied uh, the mode multiply it is showing okay and if you choose this one to any other uh, a mode accordingly see this is because here it is a darker but here by choosing the screen it is changing into that right color dodge now see dodge is giving that different color and suppose here the difference difference is what look like a, a film negative film like so it is blending this color and uh, this color into this right so this is difference and keep this in a normal 
so it shows the normal right okay the tolerance value by increasing the number the tolerance value can apply right okay so uh, these are the uh, gradient tool and a paint bucket tool right so these are very important when you work on uh, any real time uh, designs this can be very helpful right so next uh, i'll explain uh, other tools okay